All right, co-main event at heavyweight, Alexander Romanov, minus 150. Alexander Volkov is plus 130. So Romanov was kind of the cat's meow bribe before Sergei Pavlovich mm-hmm. arrived, but he dropped a majority to Marcin Tabor last August, temporarily halted his rise. As I mentioned, was 16-0 and going in. And on the other side, been a while for Volkov. He'd been a real workhorse for a while, mm-hmm. but the knockout of Biggie Boy was all the way last June. Volkov is headlined seven times for the UFC. He's got a three-rounder this weekend. Brian Petrie, who do you like? Do you guys hear that? I don't, I don't know if... Yeah, that's the hype chain of Romanov flying off the fucking tracks. I mean, this guy did not look good against Tybor. Tybor, a very good fighter, but man, cardio problem, stand up problem. His only way to win is a donkey punch. Yeah, he's got a couple submissions against low level guys who are no longer in the UFC, but that was more strength as opposed to technique. Um, yeah, I just, if we're being honest, if you look at his record of who he led up to by Tybor, not very impressive. Okay, coming outside the UFC, had a lot of hype. Physically looked good against Tybora, but just fell short. Then you got Volkov, right? This guy's just, oh, he's just fucking falling to everybody, right? Thicked up, added some frame, you know, put a couple C's on his name there, thicked up a little bit, thumping, thumping now, knocking people out, knock out Biggie Boy, right? Takedowns are not as easy to come by as they used to be. Um, him being a plus number here, I think, is just stealing money. It, I think it's stealing money. I think he'll get taken down maybe in the first round, but he's going to get back up. This guy fought Curtis Blades and got up from Curtis Blades multiple times on short notice. He's going to get up from Romanoff. Romanoff's going to tire. I like Volkov, but maybe a late TKO, possibly a decision. Vol- uh, Romanoff does seem to be tough, but plus 130. I mean, give it to me all day long. Ken, so I just thought of this, and I hope this doesn't sound like we're piling on Seattle gone. I love his brother, David. I really like Seattle himself. But I remember when Alexander Volkov fought Curtis Blades with a COVID-19 backdrop, and he was so upset that he wasn't able to get the requisite wrestling training partners for that training mm-hmm. camp. And, uh, you know, that that upsetting it like it felt real like he just you know he was and he tried like hell to brian's point right but he just he knew he didn't have the right training camp for that type of fight uh winnable fight for him this weekend against alexander romanov safest bet is probably buffer to say romanov but we need to pick on the (laughs) co-main event which way you go gosh this is a tough one for me and and brian didn't make it any easier um i'm leaning toward towards romanoff I, I i do think that uh his last performance was uh you know not abysmal but not fun uh not great uh, i think that I, I hope that he looks at that as an opportunity to really come with something different um and kind of lights a fire under his ass to get a much better performance uh volkov i think that is there's no question on the feet he's going to be a problem he's going to be dangerous um and uh will certainly have the advantage there but i I think if uh romanov is able to time his uh takedowns properly uh have proper control uh pace himself well he can win this fight I, i think again it takes a long time uh, to get your wrestling and grappling in order. Is Volkov there yet? I don't know. Maybe, uh, but I'm still leaning towards uh, Romanov uh, until further notice. But I may- maybe I change that uh, later in the week as I see weigh-ins and things like that. 